What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, daily news, what's going on in the United States, what's going on in Washington, D.C., and what is going on with the next stimulus package, the $3.5 trillion stimulus package. The House of Representatives is coming back from their recess or from their state work period where they go back to their states. We're going to be talking about what is going to be happening this upcoming week. Very big news will be coming up, and we're going to be discussing that in this video as well as what is going on in the United States. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember, the new videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This next stimulus package that they're working on right now and are actually in the voting process will be the largest stimulus package ever at $3.5 trillion. For comparison, the third stimulus check package was only, quote, only $1.9 trillion. This will be almost twice the size of that. And the third stimulus pack check package had $1,400 checks for adults, $1,400 checks for children, and $1,400 checks for adult dependents and college students that didn't even receive stimulus checks from Stimulus Check Package 1 and Stimulus Check Package 2. And there was also $3,000 to $3,600 checks for children called the Child Tax Credits that will end at the end of this year unless they extend that in this next package, which they do want to do, the Child Tax Credits. They're also saying will be a adult tax credit in this next package. And um, there is enough money for a lot of things, including two years of free community college for Americans in this next package. That is one of the things they want to put in this next package, as well as Medicare 2.0, including hearing, dental, vision, hearing aids, and denture coverage, as well as possible lowering the Medicare eligibility age down to age 60 for this next package. There's a lot of things being discussed in this next stimulus package. So we're going to be discussing that as well as what is going on in Afghanistan in this video. Thank you so much for giving this video a like. It really helps out our channel and the YouTube algorithm. Let's jump right in. We got a lot to cover. The Pentagon says that around 17,000 people were evacuated from Afghanistan in one week. A mix of United States Americans and Afghans were evacuated in one week. There is over approximately over 10,000 Americans still there. And President Biden says that the U.S. will stay in Afghanistan until all Americans who want to leave can do so. It is the first time the president talked about missing the hard set deadline of August 31st, which is now less than 10 days away for the full withdrawal of U.S. troops. If the United States has to stay there past August 31st, they may have to renegotiate with the Taliban um, to do so. The Pentagon has ordered U.S. airlines now to help with Afghanistan evacuees with the whole process of this. The Pentagon activated a little-used program to compel airlines to provide aircraft to help Afghanistan evacuees. The order is for 18 aircraft, three each from American Airlines, Atlas Air, Delta Air, and Omni Air, and two from Hawaiian Airlines, and four from United Airlines. These commercial planes will not fly into Kabul, but instead would be used to transport those who have already been flown out of the country to military bases. So yeah, it's safe to say that there is a lot of uh, different things going on in that uh, in that airport in that airport and outside of it. Um, U.S. Air Forces in Afghanistan look to alternative evacuation plans as ISIS threatens the Kabul airport. NBC News reports. U.S. defense officials say that the military is looking for alternative ways to get Americans and Afghans and third country nationals safely to the airport in Kabul following threats from the Islamic State. Two defense officials told NBC that they are tracking specific threats from ISIS against the Kabul airport and those trying to get to the airport. The U.S. Embassy in Afghanistan on Saturday warned American citizens not to travel to the airport 
quote, because of potential security threats outside of the gates of the Kabul airport. President Biden is also meeting with G7 leaders amid pressure over the Afghanistan exit. And uh, this is a, it really becoming a world problem or a world um, issue, not just U.S., Afghanistan, and surrounding countries. The U.S. House of Representatives returns to Washington tomorrow to continue on with the reconciliation process of the $3.5 trillion stimulus package to and actually could be voting on the initial portions of the bill starting tomorrow. You can see here the House returns to Washington next week to forge ahead with President Joe Biden's sprawling economic agenda, the infrastructure package, part one, and the $3.5 trillion spending plan, the, uh, as you guys know it, the social infrastructure package or the stimulus package, $3.5 trillion stimulus package. Now, here's the interesting thing is that there's actually going to be a lot going on here over the next few weeks. By the end of September, we have to do several different things along with the stimulus package and part one, the infrastructure package. We also have to do the raising of the debt ceiling. Remember this, that they have not raised the debt ceiling and um, the government is actually running on emergency spending, emergency, um, remember Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has actually, they never raised the debt ceiling and the government is now running on emergency measures to, they're running on emergency cash reserves of about $400 billion. And the government is actually going to run out of money if they don't pass or raise the debt ceiling. They need to do this about every year or two and, um, on July 31st was when they needed to raise the debt ceiling and they didn't even vote on it because Mitch McConnell said that all of the Republicans in the Senate were not going to vote for it. So Chuck Schumer seen that he said that and said, well, darn, that kind of throws a wrench into things. And um, to vote on that, they would have needed 10 Republicans to pass it unless they put it in the reconciliation package, which is the $3.5 trillion package. Now, right now, they do not have plans to put it in the stimulus package, but they could really do that. They could throw it in there at the very last moment. So all this is kind of going to go on at the same time here. So Again, they don't have plans to put it in that package at the very last moment, but they're running on emergency reserves, the national debt, and the national treasury is using emergency reserves right now. <laughs> it's almost crazy of me to even say this. And Mitch McConnell says he can't imagine that a single Republican will raise the national um, debt limit to do this, even though they did this three times during two or three times during former President Donald Trump's presidency. It's something they have to do every one to two years, depending on how long they extend it for. Okay. It's just something they have to do. It's basically allowing the government to issue new debt, or like new treasury, new bonds. It's basically like a bank not being able to lend out money. The U.S. government is basically a large bank. Okay. So Congress has to come and agree to lend new money, okay? Think of the, the government as a large bank, okay? Well, the, the Democrats, because they're in control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, can actually do this without the Republicans because they're in control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency. They could just stuff this into the next stimulus package and pass it through the reconciliation process. Or they could give concessions and they could negotiate with the Republicans and then get 10 Republican votes or more with Republicans and negotiate with Republicans. So that kind of has to happen within the next 30 days or so. There's not really a hard limit on that per se, but the government's going to run out of money here at some point in the next 30 days, maybe 45 days or so. And then you're, we're going to start hearing a lot of news about it, like, hey, the government's going to run out of money and potentially default, and then this is going to become major, major news. 
So that's going to happen here soon. And if they pass the stimulus package before then, then they kind of use that reconciliation card. But remember, on October 1st starts the new fiscal year, and then they get new reconciliation cards. But I don't think the Democrats want to use a whole reconciliation card on just that one particular item. Because remember, there's going to be more items or more packages after this like stimulus packages that they're going to want to cram a whole bunch of things in. Remember, whatever they don't pass in this next stimulus package, I'll just kind of bring up this list here so you can see them. Um, these four items in green, if you've been following the show, you know, have just been passed um, without congressional approval just in the last few weeks um, on their own. So those four items that were could, could have potentially been in the next stimulus package have already been passed already been passed. Okay. And the student loans that have been forgiven is not for everybody. It's only 8.8 .8 billion, only 8.8 .8 billion. I know I say that jokingly, right? Uh, it's a lot of money, but it's actually a drop in the bucket of what could be in the future. Okay. It's mostly for disabled people and for people that have had their schools close on them or defraud them. Okay. We're going to see a lot more of that in the future. Student loan pause and interest pause and payment pause is for everybody with federal student loans, okay? But all these other items in black are all the items being discussed for this next stimulus package. Um, a lot of these items are gonna make it in this next package because it's the largest stimulus package ever. And whatever items don't make it in this next package will probably make it in the next stimulus package. And remember, they get new reconciliation cards on October 1st, which at this point is less than two months away, a month and a, a, month and a half away. And, um, yeah, something like that. And then, um, they can get more, they can pass more packages with the reconciliation process. So they're going to continue passing packages until the next midterm elections, which is on November of 2022. It's not this November. It's next November. It's a whole year from now. Okay. But the problem is, is they have to raise the debt ceiling, but there's another problem. Not only do they need to raise the debt ceiling, but they also have to, to do the um, annual federal budget. Remember every year where the government is looming on a government budget shutdown? Yeah, they have to do that too. Remember every year? Remember last year, if you've been watching the show last year, um, when they actually passed the second stimulus package, they passed the second stimulus package and the budget the budget shutdown, the annual budget for the government. And remember, they had several budget extensions where they have to pass an annual budget for the whole country, um, the national budget. They have to do that too, okay? And that's going to happen here in the next 30 to 45 days as well for the fiscal year. So they're going to have to do the national annual budget and raise the national debt limits and pass these next two packages, the physical infrastructure package and the next stimulus package. Now, here's the thing is they might, bud they might bundle two or three of these things together because the Democrats could actually pass the debt limits and the budgets and the stimulus package. They could do all that together in the next stimulus package without the Republicans if they want to, if they want to. Um, because again, all that stuff does affect the national budget. I mean, literally one of them is the budget. Uh, and the other one raising the debt ceiling is actually kind of the budget itself. So, um, there's going to be a lot going on. And I've actually seen a lot of comments from you guys saying raising the national, um, the national debt limit should actually be number one. And I don't disagree with a lot of people's opinion. And it's an, it's an opinion. I get it because a lot of people think the stimulus package should be number one. A lot of people say raise the debt ceiling should be number one because it's a very, very um, desperate situation there. Because if the government runs out of money, we're in a lot of deep, deep doo-doo there, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Because we're looking at a national um, default, government default. Just think about those two words together, government default. We're talking about the government runs out of money. Um, like, I don't want to scare people, but think about government default. Like, the government runs out of money. 
They won't have money to pay for anything. I don't want to go into scenarios here because I don't think it'll happen because I think that they'll just pass it through reconciliation. Uh, but just imagine if the government ran out of money, even if just temporarily. We've seen this kind of happen in the past when we had temporary government shutdowns. Okay, if you remember that when we've seen government shutdowns, um, we've seen that a couple of times in the past. Um, remember when that when that happened? When we've seen that temporarily happen. Um, a a government default would actually be the worser case scenario of that. Now, I don't think that'll happen. It could maybe temporarily happen. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's going to get a little bit crazy here over the next 30 days. Um, so yeah, they're going to start the voting process here maybe as early as tomorrow in the House of Representatives. So I will keep you up to date with everything. Do not miss any videos at this point. We're going to be getting a lot of stimulus news as the House of Representatives is back in session tomorrow. So new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll keep you up to date with everything going on with the next stimulus package, going on in our country, going on in Washington, D.C., and everything you need to know about. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. And this video is how there could be monthly checks in this next stimulus package. So click on this next video or click on one of those next videos. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.